Hey guys, I'm Cheryl Luck with Off the Jacks, and we are here at SEMA 2018 in Las Vegas, and I am talking to Mr. Ed Beard. And Mustache and goatee, depending on how I shave. <laughs> and he is the creator, painter, designer of this awesome band. So, Ed, tell us first, where are you from? So, originally I'm from Rhode Island, but we currently live in Pennsylvania. That's where the band's registered. It's called the Dragon Lord Band. And I know you said there's a website, so let's go ahead and get this website out there so if anybody wants to find out more about this. Sure. Um, the van, you can see videos of the van as well as pictures on airbrushbybeard.com. Okay, and we are going to take you on a tour around the van, and Ed is going to tell us a little bit about the design on it. And you, this is paint. This is not a wrap. So just so you know, this is not just stuck on there. Hand painting, hand airbrush, yes. And hand bone. And freaking amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, so you want me to take you on a tour? Let's go for a tour, guys. Okay. So we're going to start off on the front hood, where pretty much everything begins. Uh, I was an illustrator for TSR, Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering cards, and things like that. So being in the fantasy art world and having products and novelties in different stores, people know me for my fantasy work. And that's why I picked the subject for my personal band to be dragons. So come on in the front. So you're going to probably have to lift up a little high. So on the very top, you see the visor up there. That's the Dragon Lord. Now the Dragon Lord was a titan-like creature, kind of a, a god, if you will. And he wanted to bring forth children, if you will. So his first offspring was the, the lava and fire dragons. And on the hood, you see the portrayal of a fire dragon. In the background, you'll see fire spirits. And those fire spirits are what manifested these types of dragons. And they lived on the earth for supreme for thousands of years. And as we come around to the passenger side, and we get through the lava dragon spirits, the earth went into a cool down in an ice age. And then, after a little bit of time, the ice dragons emerged from, from the earth. And they ruled the earth reign supreme for a few thousand more years. And so this is the ice dragon king. So once we got past the the ice uh, the ice age, it got into a meltdown. The earth melted down, and the great oceans formed. And so then we came forth with the water dragons, which are more Asian dragons, serpentine, long dragons. And so they again all reigned the earth together: fire, ice, water, and they were in peace. They were peaceful. They were very intellectual beings. However, as Time went by further, the age of man and magic came into play, and they corrupted the dragon. So you see over here on the backside, the great sorcerer and wizard, with his crystal ball, able to control psychically the dragons through crystals. And up on the castle top, you'll see this dragon completely under the control and the spell of the great wizard and sorcerer. There's just so much. I'm trying to get... And you know, actually, guys, what I like to do is hide objects in my pieces. If you look at this window right here, you'll see a little princess right there. And then on the other window up top by the dragon, as we go up, you'll see the knight. So they're trying to find each other. <laughs> a lot of people don't even see that. They miss that. And, and you've got, it looks literally like the night sky with stars. Well, in the process of doing this, uh, I have to actually work from back to front. So I'll actually paint the backgrounds first, and we have to mask off all the foreground characters. Because everything you see here is hand-drawn out on paper first, then it is blocked off with masking, and then it's airbrushed, and then finely fine-tuned with a brush. All these lines, these very fine lines, are actually done with a liner brush, much like pinstriping. So you get that nice crisp edge. But continuing with the story. So as time went by, the dragons were completely corrupted. So in a more cartoon format, I demonstrate the three evils. We have the see no evil. In the center here, we have the hear no evil. And then finally, the speak no evil. So the dragons now are completely a mess. They've completely corrupted each other. And so what was left was nothing more than the final epic battle between good and evil. And that's where we present the white dragon rode by the Valkyrie with the Sword of Truth upon the night of the, the red blood moon eclipse. So we're really dealing with little revelations here only taken into a fantasy format. We've got earthquakes and fissures and she is competing against death and the Reaper coming in with all its hell spawn. And this will be the final epic battle between good and evil to possibly reset all of all of, society, of humanity and the dragon kind. 
And what you realize at the end of the tour, when the final part of the van is on the driver's door, is that this entire thing that you've been seeing. Wait, I have to see the oh, inside? The inside. Or... Yes, I actually did paint the inside as well. All of the hand panels are hand painted. Even the step ups down here, you'll see the step ups, those are hand painted as well. I was gonna say, wait a minute. I, I'm... In here, you'll see the gas. This is an antique water can and a gas can. That's all hand painted. And up above on the CB, that's a hard carved wood, and that's also hand painted. And I can tell, I, I really. 600 hours. People ask me all the time, they say, how, how many hours you paint? From drawing, 200 hours, and then the painting, the airbrushing, about 600 hours. This is the Elder Dragon. So at the end of the story, you come to the driver's door, and you realize that the Elder Dragon is actually reading a book called The Dragon Lord, which is the story of his kind in the beginning of time. So the whole thing's basically a storyline of the creation of dragons and how that through time it went. You got to put that in writing on an easel, man. For people to read I have it, it on my website, cool. actually. Yeah, and I actually have a video um, on my website, airbrushbybeard.com, that you can actually listen to. And then my 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 son is a voice actor, and he did narration, so he did this really epic kind of a movie style I always say that his voice is more epic than my, my van is yeah, you know, know you that, think you're going to be seeing a, a movie trailer <laughs> but it's uh, yeah it is on the website and we'll go ahead and kind of work, man. So, there you go. <laughs> so we can get a close sure okay so I heard you say 600 hours yes three months just to paint it to finish painting it yes the drawings were 200 extra hours before oh my gosh because you hand draw everything on paper first then, after you've got the drawings, you then go through this process to get these crisp lines and separations. You have to block all the foreground off so you can work in the background. Then when you're ready to work in the foreground, you have to mask off the background. So there's a ton of cutting, you know, stretch mask and paper. Because these are very detailed. This isn't just a, you know, a so, straight line. It's... No, no, it's it's you're going in with a triple zero airbrush, a triple zero brush, fine liner. And you're going in contouring anything and everything, even the highlights. You know, it's airbrushed, then it's additionally with a brush, and then airbrushed again. So you get that extra crisp level. That's amazing. And one more time, give us your name, your website, and where people can find out more about your awesome work. Absolutely. So, name is Ed Beard Jr. Um, been an airbrush artist uh, since 1979, uh, but also a fantasy artist that people know from Lord of the Rings, Tolkien, doing the calendars at uh, Barnes and Nobles every year. Oh, just about all kinds of novelty stuff. Sculptures and figurines, you know, that kind of stuff. Actually, at Walmart, I've got a, uh, my puzzle of Wizard and Dragons is actually being sold. So I, that was my career. But at the same time, I was still doing automotive. So airbrushbybeard.com is where you can see most of the automotive side of my work. And you can see this, the video of it. Just go to my YouTube channel and you'll find it there. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to go and do another round just in case... We missed anything because there's a lot of detail. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and go check out Ed's other his YouTube channel and his site. I'm going to try to link it below. Thanks. Thank you. You've done this a few times. Yeah, Frost Spirit. You can see me holding that's hand carved wood and then hand painted. So this is the ice side and then the fire side and the driver side. If you scan the back, all those paintings on the wall are some of the things I've done for D and D and for different games. Oh.